Here we have the same 10 meter long beam, the same counterclockwise orientation as the previous video, except that now our distributed load is variable. So it changes as X ranges from zero to 10. First, we'll compute uh, the moment for a tiny slice. You can see the tiny slice indicated there. So first, positive or negative, depending on the orientation. Uh, we're told that positive is going in the, is for the beam to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. So here we'll have positive. The distance from the slice to the pivot, that's 10 minus X. And our force is 6 minus 1 half X. And since we're only using one dimension, just the DX. Our moment for all slices, adding up the moments for all possible slices, oops, we need an integral to sum them all up from zero to 10. Okay, let's replace that with our formula that we found there. We've got 10 minus X, six minus one half X, DX. All right, distributing this 10 to the six and the negative one half X, we get 60 minus five X. Distributing this negative X to six and negative one half X, we get minus six X and plus one half X DX. Notice that uh, negative 5x and negative 6x, we can combine like terms. We get negative 11, negative 11x there. Taking the antiderivative, let's see, we've got 60x minus 11 over 2x squared plus 1 so one half times X cubed over three, evaluated from zero to 10. We can take this one half times one third, turn it into a one sixth. And doing the math there, we get 216.7 Newton meters.